Hello, everyone, and welcome to Start to Finish for 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I just forgot the name of the game for a, a moment. I don't really know why that is. My name is Matt Boyer. This is episode 23. So named because it's the 23rd episode of this game that I've been playing. We have so many people we should be playing as. Instead, here I am looking at the battle screen. I think now we let's do some story. Yo. Let's get her prologue. Of course. Let's figure out what is happening with Shinonome. Shinonome, what's happening with you? Why are you covered in bandages everywhere? Do you have a torso? Mr. Ida. Shinonome kun. She doesn't have the bandages on her head right now. I'm alarmed. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Oh, well, she sounds Will you answer it for me? Normal. <laughs> Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. I need the next part of this sentence to not be creepy. You said I was special. It's still creepy. You are special. Getting worse. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived. Very bad. I knew you'd be special. Have to go. That something might happen between us. I'm pulling the ejector seat on this conversation. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. Oh, it's getting so much worse. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. I have to go. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me... To all of us... Uh... You and the rest of those chosen as pilots... Oh... Uh. Your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? That tone of voice does not match that facial expression. Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonome-kun. Ah. Ah. I have to go. I have to go. Find Jesus. Is he over here? Help. true you are quite exceptional Shinonome-kun your intelligence and adaptability are above average oh romance and your piloting technique is more than sufficient acceptable that's what I look for in a child bride with you on our side we stand a real chance but you must be fully committed to the cause to achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. Starting to understand why you're not a coach. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. Oh, that's incorrect. We can't make it 12 hours anymore. A group of invaders had come ashore. What? Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. I... Oh. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. 
That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? What? Acorn. Acorn. You the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Sekigahara kun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. I am blameless. Attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Yay! Wait. No. I'll do it. Okay. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes, I've made up my mind. How long ago? Then we will meet after school. No. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. When are we? Are you sure about this? I am. And not as in like a 1985 sense, but in a sense of like where in the timeline are are we? I thought he was from a different. Well, no, they know him from somewhere else. Well, Noseki Kahara is from else time. I mean, maybe she is as well. I don't have any idea. Uh, I know some of these answers could happen if I just press the fucking R2 button and let her keep talking, but um, I'm a man on the internet, and so sometimes this is just what I do, and I'm really sorry for that. Um, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Just keep going. Run it away! All right, we're back to 2064. Area B2, secured. That's a similar breakdown to where, um, like those the, the orange dots in the top right. We saw that kind of similar at the end of yesterday. I wonder if they always come in from the northeast. Area D7, 23 remain in the seventh wave. Love is the seventh wave. I've heard. I don't remember who 14 is. Don't stop. You're almost there. Ooh. Number 14 is taking damage. Shinonomekun, pull back. Okay, thank you. Seventeen becomes um Minami. Systems being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number fifteen. Oh, Firefox is right. It's when Goto is controlling the automated sentinels. Look at all of his little screens. It's getting real orange. This is when they shunt to different times. But we'll have no idea where they go. The pilots' lives are the priority. Number 
14 and 13 have begun transmitting. Number 12 and 19 transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. How did this happen? What did Seki Gahara do? Or why did he do it? That's good. Ida doesn't seem terrible here. We need to go. That sure went to orange so quickly. All right, and so she jumped to 2020. Why are they all down? Oh no, I haven't, no. <laughs> Mr. Ida, he stayed on the battlefield to the very end, all so we could escape. <laughs> but... Must be his hideout. Four two six is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. I saw that gun. Maybe he's in the gun. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number four two six. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time trying to thwart our work but we don't know why a gun made in the 2100s if it comes down to it I'll use this on him consider still some ammo left. the phaser great oh, oh. I don't like that Uh I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Um I'm taking you in. And if I don't come willingly? If you want to resist, feel free. Just gives me a reason to put a bullet in your head. I now remember that I know very little about Seki Gahara. told you I was 426. I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? What to do? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Uh, Shoot me. Uh, Go on. Uh, I'm serious. I'll do it. Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. Oh, it was him. Uh, I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides, what are you doing? Empty. 
like I thought. They'll wear off soon. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. What? Oh, that didn't explain anything. Fuck. I mean... Am I surprised? Ryoko Shinonome comes from the future, the destroyed world of 2064. Ever since the battle in 2064, her memories have been getting clouded. As her feelings towards Tetsuya Ida fuel her desire for revenge, she tenaciously seeks the culprit behind the incident. Unless she regularly takes her medication, she suffers an intense headache and amnesia. Many of the first year students will call her Shinonome Senpai. Senpai, defined as someone who preceded you in an organization, is used as an honorific here to show respect to a senior or superior. This is often used at school or places of work. I learned this from Persona. Ah! Ah! I spent all my points! Why? Why did I spend my points on dumb shit? Oh. During the battle in 2064, Aisaki Gahara piloted Sentinel number 15. Oh, I'm glad it's putting this in here. I was wondering. So he ends up in one of the first Sentinel, the one of the uh, first generations later. Was Shinonome in 14 there? I don't think she was. She was like in 19, right? Y'all gotta pick a number and, and stay there. That's what I think. All right, back, All right. back to Yuki. Back to Yuki. We need to get Minami back. All right. Then I should fight and get some points. And unlock some some intel. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure: Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. Stay out of here, four two six. This place is a dump. Don't talk to me, four two six. There you are. Don't talk to me, four two six. I've been looking for you. I don't care. <sighs> I don't trust you. I know who you are. I know you're bad. Nope. 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 Maybe he's not. All right, it's just that. I've. I right, get out of here, birds. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten. But she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. What? I did that already. I've got the most stuff here. Why? The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson. Erica Iva, at your service. No. Please, call me Erica. I refuse to, 426. I will do my best. I know who you are. I'm at... All right, to the front gate. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. No. I don't trust you. You're bad. Ah, oh, shit. Wajima. Yo. Yes. Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Iba. Your name's supposed to have AI in it. Or are we just fucking with me? Uh, um, Takamiya-san? Are these 
these people friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her, that means you have to be friends with me too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh, <sighs> you think you can threaten me? Bastard. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Have it your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Aiba. Maybe this time it'll stick. <laughs> 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 Shit. Shit. <laughs> School called the cops on me. How is this my fault? Hey, buddy. That's Can I go home now? Not convincing. No. Damn it. Why not? Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. Oh, it's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Alright. It wasn't me that did it. It was so I was I was framed by an AI that wore my skin like a Can I go now? Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. No. I'm out of here. Hey. Bye. Just wondering where the ladies room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. That's incorrect. I'm I'm not going to do that. I'll take over from here. Wow. Yes, sir. Onishi the ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. Are you Gerald from Fire Emblem Three Houses? So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. You sound a lot like him. I've been worried about you. They took you away and... I didn't even know you were transferred. Maybe a little too gruff. Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. No, no, no. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Eh? Uh? Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there. Just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town. And I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember, in Nachan's notebook, she wrote about time travel. And a robot that fights. Onishi the ogre may just be another old fart. Fart. But he's an old fart I think I can trust. Trustworthy farts. Maybe I should talk to him, and have him help me too. Yeah. 
Natsuno Minami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. So, how much do you already know about the SIU? It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups. But it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Logical. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? I am. Oh. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. But, according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. Ooh, I like this guy. I can get there. Maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is and what happened to Nachon. Oh, look at the slow zoom. Oh, that's good. I don't trust trains. After hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. Do we have like a Spider-Man or someone we can call? The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Ogata! Ogata? Huh? Hey, buddy! Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought, don't you live near Nachon's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh, to see the ocean? You all right? No. I'm bad at conversation. So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Iba? Iba? You're in class D, right? What? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Iba. Iba's been absent from school for a while now. <sighs> the next stop is a Kebi. A Kebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Uh oh. Not Iba? Then who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see the weapon at Shikishima. I mean, I'm not super surprised, but. Security sure is crap here. Aha. Sneaking in was almost too easy. I mean, I knew not to trust 426, but I didn't know that I assume it's just going to be inhabiting another person. Well, no, why would they? Because it's Tamal's body. Matt, use your head. Though, when it's this damn dark, it's hard to see much of anything. Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. 
If that's true, then... Who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Hello, giant robot. Huh? Uh oh. Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up? It says start. Ah! Well, that explains Who's there? it. A ghost. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Uh, hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? Ooh. We are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? that was being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You. I remember you from the list. You're Renya Koto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? Like, I'm in between something I don't want to be in the middle of. No way. Did you sell me out? I don't know what that means. So this was an ambush? You could say that. Asshole. So this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Oh. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. Boy, you know you are in for some... Grade A bullshit. When they start the sentence with, from our perspective. You mean, time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. So this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? You don't get to... Fuck you! Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. Oh yeah, that's way more mature. <sighs> I'm leaving. Stay back. Oh! The hell? Is that real? You want to find out? Get out of my way. Or am I going to have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this. Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me, but I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more. Uh. Yuki Takamiya. What are you? Ah. Uh -uh. Uh. According to 
Captain Nenji Ogata, who's in the same class as Aiba, the girl named Aiba has been absent from school for a while now. He also claims that she and the person who's been following Takamiya are not the same. Uh, so that's bad. All right, let's get some let's let's get some points. Let's get some stuff. Ijiyama and Miura on the strike team. I'm ready. Moving out. What kind of stuff do we have here? Modified drum mines. No. I don't like that. I'm gonna tag you out. We've got two long rangers and two up close. Let's get a support. Got it. The drum mines are good when you punch them. I'm ready. Take him in. Go ahead and get him to uh, nap. Hurricane Rush. Ooh. Look at that. I like that. Let's equip that in place of surrounding. Cool. Okay. Um, here's Juro. What's he doing? That seems good. Anti-ground piercing rocket launcher. That's also really good. Let's do, let's go with that. Who else is who else is coming? I can free up a slot for you. What do we have? Dun knuckles. Okay, I'm ready. Ijiyama and Mira. 50 seconds. Here we go. He's fun. Alright. Here we go. What can I do? Drop the gun down first. Back me up. My turn now. Go ahead and move you up. Number eleven. Moving out. Let's no fight I, I guess life comes at you fast. Number twelve, moving out. Don't waste any chances. Let's see. What's the plan? Oh, flyers. Come on. Good. How many left? Gotta do something. 
So these are armor piercing, but you don't have both lined. Can I get both? Yes. Ah, it wasn't really worth it. Don't worry about it. Go up here. Uh, close them out. Great. He's very fast. Can't mess this up. Number 13. Let's see. All right, so now it's just ready and it's explosion, so we punch it. And he goes over there and blows up. Humanity stands proud. What's the plan? It's, he's a lot, isn't he? All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, baby. Target destroyed. Gotta think. All right, you're just not in range of anybody. You almost are. One twenty-two by thirteen. Do I think that's gonna be okay? Try it. See how it goes. Yeah, it was pretty solid. Fortunately, she was. Oh boy, okay, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's skip you. Yeah, get over there. Yeah! Did not shoot the flyers, though. Or the deputy. That's very silly that we still have one up. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna bring you over here. Oh boy, okay. Now we got something. Let's put that over there. What's the plan? Dang, son! You are kind of laying waste to people. I'm into it. I like this groove that's happening. Railgun! Yeah. I won't back down. Less fun here. So that thing's supposed to explode when it goes off. I'm just going to let it do that. For a little bit. Let him go. Let let them accumulate. Okay, we got more stuff up there than I'm really wanting. It's okay. I got a plan. 
I'm looking forward to using Hurricane Rush, but nothing's in range yet. No room for hesitation. Move you over no here. Oh. Didn't realize you were running low on stuff. Alright, so they're through there. I don't really have a shot, do you? Let it go. Plasma. What's the plan? Come on. Did that do it? How many left? Can't miss. That was good damage. That's it. Got it. How's that? I keep uh, definitely done better. Alright, over here. He's almost to it. They're almost gone. I'm just not going to worry about them right now. Not yet. Alright, Yuki, what you got? Yeah! Not yet. Now I'm ready. I did not see where they were coming from. This is a great angle. That was so satisfying. It's not going to hit enough. Hey, pop that thing out of here. Oh, come on. My turn now. Here goes. That work neutralized. All right, 50 seconds. We are still doing great. That, uh, that, that thing's hardy. You're doing fine, honey. Let's go. Number 13, moving out. How's the sentinel? Back over here as well. Number 11, moving out. I'll make it work. Can I get all of them? This might hit everyone. No, a short one. Ooh, it's it's moving. That was embarrassing. Nice. I my turn now. Not throwing away my shot. Fire. This might be all of them. Did I get it? Enemy unit destroyed. What to do? Railgun. Is that it? Way less than 50 seconds. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis. I really enjoy the first generation the Sentinels. Don't stop. How long we gotta keep this up? If we could activate the Aegis faster, maybe we could mitigate some of our exhaustion as well. Actually. What do we know about this self-defense mechanism? Universal control oversees the world through the terminals. But the defense functions refuse to respond when the terminals are under kaiju attack. The mainframe would go down without even noticing it was compromised. That seems like a design flaw. So when it comes to the kaiju, the system's paralyzed? That's one way to put it. And Operation Aegis is about covering for that weakness. The Dimos attacks open up vulnerabilities so they can attack the terminals. We exploit those same vulnerabilities with some low-grade hacking to provoke the terminal's security. 
and trigger the defenses ourselves. The Aegis system activates, and the terminal locks out the Kaiju intrusion. Okay. If the threat of the Dinos is too subtle for detection, then we simply present a more obvious one. Um? So, it's a ruse. Like sounding a fire alarm with no fire to get people bounding out of their bunks. Familiar shenanigans. Isn't that why they used to call you a no-account rascal? At any rate, that's why we can't activate it until the D-forces are close enough to the terminals. Interesting. Also, seems bad. Give me my S rank. We almost took zero damage. I will protect everyone. Good on you, Mira. Maybe one of these days you'll punch up a personality. So many S ranks. That one was way easier than the last one I went on. Yeah, two mystery points. No, we're not doing another wave. Oh, yeah. Tia Ida is the substitute teacher assigned to Ryoko Shinonome's class at Sakura High School. He's actually a member of an unofficial organization who forces Shinonome into battle. Ida is the director of the Special Investigations Unit, government-affiliated spies. He serves as an advisor to an anti-kaiju defense team and helps Morimura gather members for their team. Back when he was a student... Right. Back when he was a student, he supported Tomi Kisaragi on her singing live streams under the screen name F8, Fate. He used to wear glasses and came off as a studious, serious young man, but he tried to act cooler in high school to catch Kisaragi's attention. He was in love with the deceased Kisaragi, so in order to revive her, he developed androids at Shikishima Industries in 2100. He transplanted the past Kisaragi and Tamao Karabe's and AI into androids. Oh yeah, these are good. 426 is a prisoner number of an escaped criminal from the future. His real name is Juro Izumi. He's already dead and currently exists as a replication that is based off of the memory information written onto Sector Zero. He had previously been researching ways to download memories from the Interlocitor and how to get into the production line of the Dimos code. He escaped confinement through transferring his own data into an android that looked like Tomi Kisaragi. The Kisaragi android that 426 was using as his body got destroyed during the battle against the Tamao Karabe android in 1985. He then took over the Tamao android's body and managed to escape. Ah! Oh. Yeah! It's all... fucked! Memory of dreams from the past where all this stuff happens. So here's a 20. 104. Find the. Thing. I'm just kind of look. I'm not going to start another one with the like 10 minutes I have left because I wouldn't be able to finish it. So let's kind of look at these events. Okino, that's Izumi and Morimura to Jake through to Sector Zero. Is here where they are. So Sector Zero is 2089. Doing good. They blow up a facility. But they're detected. Something happens. Here we are in 2025. Wait. So. Okay. So, Ida and Kisaragi are here in 2025, and everything is bad. So. And that's this Kis This Kisaragi here dies. So. 
She is dead between this and and this. 25. But clearly he has done some jumping at that point already. Well, I mean they come to get them. Miura and Hiro. Just Karabe shooting everybody. So at this point, we're already doing time jumping, quite clearly. But this is a different 85 than our actual one. I'm assuming that stuff all happens beforehand. So all of these are... Well, this is memory. These are dreams. Yeah, okay, really early on. That's bad, Ryoko, you shouldn't do that. News recordings 2188. I'm sorry, this isn't... This isn't 1985's school, this is 2064's school. Oh no! Ah! Sekigahara asks Ida about Operation Aegis, expressing doubts about the Sentinel system updates he had been asked to do. And then here's where it happens, and it's because of him. So, did Seki go hard? Why was he making updates to this? If that was oh, these are important. All right, and then the jumps happen. Izumi is shunted into 2024, which is when Yakushiji and Kisaraki are from. That's 426, doing ill shit. Seki Kahara has been transmitted. So we don't know. So maybe it's just those two. We don't know where Shinonoma has been sh shunted. I'm assuming 85, but I could be completely wrong. Okino ended up in 45 after this dream where, um, here. So after losing the battle in 2025, Yakushiji and Juro meet once again, so... Obviously, in here, between here and here, they've had time together. Goto sends them both into 1985, which is our 1985, which is different than the 1985 we saw up above in a way that I haven't figured out just yet. I've, I, I want to say I've made a Bowling Pursuit reference already. Okay. Not that, like, you're wrong to do so. I just like, no, I checked that box. Okay, both. Yep. Busaka immediately falls for Seki Kahara. What's the last thing we saw from Seki Kahara? Help 426 escape. Then he shows up in the 80s. Busaka and Miwako get to know their classmate. Oh, right, I know why. Isaragi dies. It's because uh, Izumi shoots her. Right? 
Like, that's... Yeah, the murders in this world. But... If that's true, where's the start of... Sure. So that's number 62 for this one. Let's head down to 62. What else is happening around 62? What? How is... No! Hang on. Hey, hang on. So. Ryoko discovers 426's hideout, finally corners him. The bodies... Nenji Ogata, Tonmi Kisuragi, and Ryoko Shinonome, or no, I'm sorry, not her, I, Ogata, Miwako, and Tomi are there. They're dead. They've been shot. They're not dead. She just sees them on the ground. They get up off the ground here. Usami -chan. They're in the same positions. Usami -chan. I don't know what this means. Okay. So what's 426 doing there? We don't know. It's in this one. Then they're doing all this stuff. Alright, when do we see Tomi again? I got another, like, minute. I, I don't, but I'm still here doing this. Here. Just having a uh, normal time for a while. All right, when is, um... Oh, man. One sixty-seven. Let's see what else is happening around one sixty-seven. Oh my god. As I have way through. All of his stuff is in a row. Except this is going to be one for Megami. So, okay, Hijiyama runs into Okino here. We haven't seen him in so long that this is where they meet up. Their ill shit happens here, and they grab Ogata, shove him in. This is right after. The opening cutscene. Escape from the factory. Then we have most of Megami's story. And shoo. Here's where we find that stuff out. He gets shot. The Sentinel activates. More Megami. Jiba's not real. Lot of nothing. More Juro. Freaks out. Learns about Izumi. Sekigahara winds up in an alley.
Then we've got Fuyusaka happen. Fuyus he runs into Fuyusaka. Oh me. And then the beginning. This tells me nothing, but I'm glad that I went through it. Okay. 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 I do have to stop now. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you on Monday for more. Bye!